In these perimeter problems, we're going to look at sides that may have a length that is a fraction. Again, to find the perimeter of something, you simply add up all the sides. So to find the perimeter of this, I need to take 7 eighths plus 7 eighths plus 7 eighths plus 7 eighths and add them all together. Now if you remember, a quick way of adding the same number over and over and over again is to multiply. So I can take 7 eighths and multiply it by 4. If I multiply it by 4, I need to write 4 as a fraction. How do I write 4 as a fraction? Put it over 1. How do I multiply fractions together? I multiply the top numbers together and I multiply the bottom numbers together. 7 times 4 8 times 1, then I simply reduce. What number will go into both of these? 4. Seven halves. Then I take 7 divided by 2. How many times will 2 go into 7? 3 times. Subtract. I have 1 left over. 3 and 1 half and remember to put my units, feet. So if it has the same number, I can multiply it by however how many sides there are, as long as it's the same number. Let's look at an example where the numbers on the sides are not the same. Again, to find the perimeter, I need to add all the sides up. So I'm going to take 6 and 1, 6. I'm going to add it to 4 and 1 6 and add it to 5 and 1 6. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the whole numbers up, then add the fractions together. 4 plus 6 is 10, plus 5 is 15. 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6, they all have a common denominator. The only thing I have to do is add the number in the top, 3 6, and reduce that, 15 and one half and make sure I put my units. So when the numbers are different, I simply add the whole numbers, add the fractions together. Let's look at another problem where the fractions are different. To find the perimeter, I need to add all these up. So I need to take one and five ninths add it to 1 and 17 eighteenths, add it to 3 and 4 ninths, add it to 1 and 17 eighteenths. Again, I'm going to add all these whole numbers up. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. Now I'm going to add the fractions up. In the previous example, everything had a common denominator. Not everything has a common denominator here. I'm going to put together the ones that do have common denominators. That would be this one and this one. Five ninths and four ninths. The denominator stays the same. I add the top numbers. Nine divided by nine is one. So I'm going to add another one to this. Then I'm going to take these two and add these two together. The denominator is the same. 17 plus 17, 34. I need to reduce this. What number going to 34 and 18? 2. 17 ninths. Since this is an improper fraction, I need to change it to a mixed number. 9 will go into 17 one time. 17 minus 9 is 8. This is 1 and 8 ninths. So now I just need to add these numbers here in the front. 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 1 is 8 and 8 ninths. And make sure I keep the units. When I have an example where all the numbers are different, I take the whole numbers, add those together, take the fractions that are alike, add those together, and if anything comes out to be an improper fraction, 
change it to a mixed number. Add the whole number parts, keep the fraction part.